Okay, everyone has asked for it and here we are. I am doing intro videos and this one is for Betty. When I first got Betty, I got her with another baby guinea pig who I dubbed Patch Adams the girl. You can see her here in this video. Unfortunately, Patch did not stay with me very long. She was apparently sick when I got her and that really highlighted some of Betty's finer features. I call her my nurse pig because she spent a lot of her babyhood just trying to take care of Patch, following Patch around, trying to force Patch to eat. She even brought cucumbers over to Patch, but Patch was very sick and there was nothing that could be done for her. So Betty did spend a fair amount of her babyhood needing medicine to make sure she didn't contract what Patch did. I am happy to report though that Betty has been pretty much the picture of health ever since then and I haven't really had to put her on medicine save one other time. This whole experience really kind of changed Betty's personality. She's nowhere near as talkative or outgoing as she had been when she had Patch around but it has shaped her desire to take care of anyone or any pig that is not feeling well, whether it's emotionally or physically, she always looks out for anyone around her. Now that's not to say that she has any difficulty bossing people around when they're feeling fine. She certainly, <laughs> she certainly likes to have her way and she really loves to be any place that is comfortable. If it's a hammock or a pillow, or a soft stomach, she'll be there, she'll curl up, and she will claim it as her own and make sure that no one else comes anywhere near it. That is her spot. I call her my queen of comfort. Now, um, you might have noticed that Betty is kind of an older name, but I thought it was absolutely perfect for her given her white coat. Yes, she is named for Betty White, the actress, who is one of my all-time favorite actresses. So I really just couldn't resist the opportunity to name an animal after that wonderful person. And I think that my Betty here just kind of lives up to that. So that's the basics of her personality. Um, some of my pigs, they're into music. Betty used to love Justin Bieber, believe it or not. She was a big, big fan, especially the song Sorry. She and Patch would actually sing along to that when it got to like the little point that would sound like guinea pigs, the doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. She loved it, but since Patch passed, she has had no interest in that anymore. So she's just kind of my grumpy old piggy and she will take care of people when the situation calls for it. All in all, um, she <laughs> she's my sweetie. She's the first one that wants to see me when I get home from being away. But, you know, she is going to let you know if you're out of line. And that is Betty. Hey there, everyone out there in Pigtopia. We really hope you liked this video. If you did, the easiest way to show us is by liking and subscribing. If you hit the bell, then that is the easiest way to know when we have stuff up for you. We try to put out a new video every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time, and we will continue on with the intro videos for the pigs. Those are going to come out Tuesdays at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, so be on the lookout for those. Of course, we live stream on Saturdays, and we're trying out a new weekend update on Sundays. So there's a lot going on, and we really hope you enjoy. If you have more questions about Betty, feel free to drop a comment. We'll get those answered for you. In the meantime, have a great day. Be cute yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Bye!